So we've had the opportunity to work with uh, the brand Acaso, and I say work with, they send us our cameras to test. And we've been able to play with the V50 line. Uh, we've played with a bunch of the Brave series. Uh, and you know what, for a budget friendly camera, action camera, I've been, I've been really impressed, especially, especially when they released the Brave 7 LE. Um, first one that had a front facing camera, it was like a really, really nice budget version of like the Osmo. The, the Osmo Action. Um, and then the 7 came out and that was a little, uh, I don't know what I wanted to say about it. It had external mic support, which is something I was really looking forward to, external mic support. Um, but the internal mic was so bad, it was so bad. It was pretty much non-existent. And, and uh, talking with Acaso, there was, you know, we, we kind of gave him some samples and worked with him a little bit uh, just to try to figure out what was going on. So they updated the 7 because they figured that there was a problem. Uh, and then the 7, the standard Brave 7 was uh, better. Was the internal audio uh, perfect? No, but better. It was somewhat usable. Um, today, I got a package and this arrived. Castle Brave 8, built for the next level of image quality. Now, I don't know anything about this camera. It just, it kind of showed up. Uh, and when you go on a Casso's website, right here it is, a Casso, uh, Brave Series, 7, 7, 7 LE, 6. There's nothing. There, There is nothing in regards to the 8. Even the 7, if you look at it, new. Eight. That that says eight. Yes. Oh yes. Uh, so today we're going to crack open the box, take a look at the camera because uh, that's kind of exciting, uh, and I'm I'm learning as I as as we go together, as we we look at this together because, again, there's there's not a lot of info in in regards to it. So uh, we're going to crack open the box, and we're going to go just take a quick 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 walk with it outside to see how the stabilization is and to see how the audio is. This is this is video number one. Guaranteed, there'll be more. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so here's here's the box, Brave 8. You guys can see it. Uh, built for the next level. What does it say in the bottom here? 10 meter, 33 foot waterproof, 4K 60 FPS video, 48 megapixel photo. That's new, 48 megapixel. Dual color screens, I'm with you. Uh, the Acaso app, yep, comes with a little remote, which I think the, the 7 series did too. Uh, shot on Acaso, yeah, bunch of stuff. And and that's, that's it, it doesn't, it doesn't, the box doesn't even go into a lot of detail. So it looks like we open from the bottom. Okay, so here we go, open it from the bottom. Oh yes, oh yes we are. And uh, the Castle cameras always come with an enormous amount of goodies, right? An enormous amount of goodies. I like that box. They went away. They had these really nice like white boxes that I actually really liked, but they went back to this style, which I'm, I'm not sure. I, I kind of like the white boxes that the uh, six and the seven came in. All right, so this has the standard. You guys can see it here. It's just a little pop this up somehow so that you can get the get the little rubber thing out so that you can get this out of the back here okay and this should squeeze and pop yes <laughs> all right we're coming we're coming back to that we're coming back don't you you stay put okay and this is your box of goodies, is my guess, box of goodies. So we get the quick start guide, cool. There it is, it looks like you get a dual charger, shows how the battery goes in, shows how to charge it. Very similar, I'm guess, guessing to the seven. Um, QR code for the manual in multiple languages. Yeah, because that's, that's the thing that they started doing, I believe with the seven, is that if you wanted a manual, they were like, go online and get it, because we're, we're not printing one out for you. Silica gel. Uh, little tie down straps with the cloth, cool. Here's gonna be your little, I believe your remote. Yeah, yeah, 
it's, it's an actually a really nice little remote that they give you. I have to say, you guys see that? Like it's a very nice remote. It even has a power button. So I'm, I'm curious now if that power will, I don't think it'll necessarily, well, it might turn it on. We'll see. Handlebar mount. Yep. Uh, a bunch, bunch of different like extensions and J hooks and all kinds of more, more accessories than you'll know what to do with. There's your little charger. Two, two batteries and batteries are, let's see, batteries are, can I read this? Uh, 3.8 volt, 1550 milliamp hours. That's all right, 5.89 watt hours. That's, I think it's a bigger, it's a bigger, bigger battery. Maybe, I'm not 100% not sure, but that seems bigger, 1500. Uh, Velcro straps, this is gonna be the strap for the remote if you wanna use those together. Uh, USB A to USB C charger, and more little, uh, more little like quarter inch tripod mounts and things like that. Again, you just get mount wise, you get so much. That's one of the biggest deals I think with the Acaso. Like, is if if you're wanting to buy a camera and be like, I want it. I want all the accessories, so when I unpack this, I can go shoot blah, blah, blah. I want it to hook into my tripod, and I want it to hook to this, and I want it to mount on my motorcycle, and I want it to... There's a really good chance that you're not gonna have to spend any more money once you get this on accessories, because it comes with them, even two batteries. You know, little charger, two little batteries. Happy days, happy days. Okay, we're gonna put that over there. How does this charge? And this was something too, I think it was on the seven. Uh, the camera, the Brave 7, charged via USB-C, but this was micro USB. And I'm like, well, that, that seems silly. And that, I think, is that? I don't even know. Do they, do they give me a cable for it? Let's see. I can't, I can't tell by looking at it. I can't tell by looking at it. I'm gonna see, does that, does that go in there? That would be fantastic if it did. But I don't believe so. Don't believe so. Still, that looks like micro, right? You guys see that? It looks like micro, right? Micro USB? That's sad. And I don't think they give you a micro USB cable. Just a USB-C cable. So, hopefully you guys have one of those, I think. Because I, I didn't see another cable. Nope, I did not. Okay, Doogie, here's, here's the star of the show. Right here. This is it. I like the little red. And... This is something too that I like. Check this out. This replaceable because if you crack this or whatever, that you just you unscrew it and you can put you can put a different one on. Would be my guess. And then you just screw it back on and there's a little cap that came off. And I'm also wondering, again I'm not too sure. I'm wondering if a Casso will give like or have like ND filters and things like that. Cause there's a little red mark there. You can see you just spin it, right? There's your little spin to come off, spin it on, lock it up. Just like that, very cool. There's your front screen. Even the writing, Casso is in, is in this red, which I like, very cool. Uh, this has changed, uh, I think. This is your display slash power button. This is your record button. There's your mode button. And on the side here, we have a little door. Little door. Come on, little door. Can we open with the case on? You may or may not. I don't, I don't know. Maybe the case is pop. All right, let's take it out of the case. It's a different case too. Let's, you pop this. Okay, I like the, I like the case. Case is good. I'm just, I'm curious if this, maybe this needs to have the door. Okay, there it is. So very much like uh, like even the Insta 360s and all that. This your there's your USB C right there, and there's your micro SD card. Looks like a little micro speaker. This should just slide out, I would think. This would just oh no, this pops this way. There it is. Oh, that's nice actually. Just a little pop. Yeah, I like that. Very very handy. And then we take one of these, line it up. You guys see that? You click, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take this little sticker off here. Excellent. There it be. 
And ready for first first turn on? Let's hold the power down. I'll take this one off to you, ready? Okay, first power, ready? You guys will see it, turn it on. It's weird sound. English, do I hit the power button? I got a flashing green light at the top. Oh no, nope, that wasn't the button. So maybe mode, let's see. Maybe the, cause there's a check at the top. Maybe I want the button at the top. English. English. Maybe I just tap it. Ha <laughs> ha, touch screen. 2021, it is this. Oh, the touch screen works pretty good actually. 12, so this is October and it is October, October 6th. So the scroll on it, the scroll works actually quite nice. Touch screen is decent, 20, 24 hours. No, I don't want 24 hours. We're gonna go PM and it is currently 4.15 in the PM. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's a much nicer screen actually. All right, swipe down to display shortcuts. Swipe up for resolution, right for switch, and that for album. And click to enter the shooting mode switch. What is that? Click to enter. I don't know what that means. We'll figure that out. Please download the app. Yep. Skip. Don't need it. Permission. Oh, we have to download the app. It looks like you have to. This device should be connected to the app as instructed to activate and use. All right. Okay. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure I have it. There it is. Castle Go. Yep, I've done I've done this app before. Device at the bottom. All right, device, Brave Seven. No, so it does need an SD card. Luckily, for you and I, I have one. Okay, we can do this again. Pop this way, I think. Yep. Confirm. Excellent. Connect the camera. Make sure your device's Wi-Fi is turned on. Okay, Doki. Record video. What about this way? Preferences. Oh, Wi-Fi. It's on now. So now, my guess is I'm going to go in here. Brave 8. There it is. And my guess is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nope. Can I add a nine to the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go. Yeah, nine. Okay, and then we're going back to this. Oh, it's not on there yet. It's not on there yet. What happens if I just choose a seven? Connect. Yeah. I'm curious, unable to join. Because it's not listed. It's not listed yet. You guys are seeing this. Yes. Still only has the 7. All right. We're not doing a Wi-Fi connect. No, we're not. We are strictly going to use this uh, to go in and play around with the actual settings. So I'm going to pull this back down again. Can I stop this? I keep saying connecting. Stop. There it goes. So let's turn the Wi-Fi off. Good. Uh, preferences, good. Voice control, you can turn on. Standard, cache, wireless, no, remote. If you want your remote on. Gyroscope, gyroscope? Yes. I don't even know what that means, but I want that on. General settings, screen brightness, sound, video, audio. Date stamp, I don't want, no. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. We got a card in here. I'm going to... Turn it off. There we go. We got a card in here. I'm going to go outside. We're going to do a quick just walk around the, the backyard. And we're going to just see what the stabilizer looks like. And what the audio. Because this is the big one. The Brave 7 audio, not good. So I'm really curious to see if they've kind of fixed this. It'll have no no modifications. Just right out of the camera. All right. Let's, let's go outside.
that's something. Well, you get a little bit of a tour of the house while I try to figure out where I put my where I put my sandals so I could go outside. Yep. And there they are. Here they be. Anyways, you guys get to see what stabilization is like. Yes, and it does crop in a little bit, even when it's on the, the uh, super wide, but handy. Um, you guys get to see it now on multiple different types of light. So you can see in here, we've got a lot of harsh light coming in through the back windows. But a couple things that I want you guys just to really watch is number one. Number one, without question, audio. What does it sound like? Because the seven was not good, not good. And number two is the stabilization, right? And, and the color, I guess. So let's just go outside. And it is uh, really windy. So I apologize, but hey, it's a good test for the camera because we're not always gonna be shooting in perfect days, you know? And I'm just walking normal, which is what most people would be doing. And you'll see what kind of wind noise we get. I'm trying to figure out where that wind's coming from. I think it's that way. So maybe it's going to hit the camera straight on and you guys won't be able to hear me at all. I don't know. But that's, that's, that's it. This is what this kind of looks like. Thoughts? Thoughts? Mm -hmm. I, I, and again, I'm going to have to go in and take a look at this just to see. Over here, we get a bit out of the wind, so that's, that's better. A little bit out of the wind, which is nice. And we'll just do a turn here. You guys will be able to see any detail back there on those little bushes and stuff, which is cool. Hopefully, again, the stabilizer is doing its job. Hopefully, the audio is doing its job. And this will be, like I said, untouched. I'm just going to throw it, throw it in the editor. Uh, this is at 4K30. Uh, I do hope to go out and do a motorcycle ride. So, as you can see right there, the bikes, to test this because it's, uh, it does, I believe, I'm 100%, not 100%, 99% sure that this does or has external mic support using the Acaso USB C mic. So, that could be good. And uh, we'll test that for sure to see how that works riding. And uh, hopefully you guys will leave some comments down below to let me know what you'd like to see in a further test because this was really a stabilizing test to see how the stabilizer works, see how the mic works. We'll go up some stairs here because that's that's important going upstairs. Yeah, see how the mic works because that's that's kind of number one. If that's all they fixed, I'd be, I'd be I'd be happy. But if the stabilizer works, mm, then then that could be good, right? Stabilizer and a good mic and external mic support. Mm, maybe we're maybe we're getting somewhere. Maybe uh, I'm just walking back to the uh, sitting room, the sun room, as my wife calls it. And uh, you guys again will be able to see a little bit of the difference. Maybe my cat will stay here. This is. This is Callie. You see? See Callie? Right there, maybe? Yeah, that's her. So, what did you think? You guys are hearing the audio. Hopefully it's good. Uh, that's that's all I'm going to say. And the stabilizing. So, uh, this was just in normal stabilizer mode. So, uh, I'm going to go downstairs now, take a look. See what I thought of the footage, see what I thought of the color, and of course, see what I thought of the audio. All right, hold on. Okay, so I'm trying not to make this video four hours long. Uh, so you guys saw the, you saw the video. Now, there's a few things I wanna point out before we get into the video footage that we, that we looked at, that we saw. Um, and it's, uh, be aware that I'm using a version of the device that is, uh, I guess, pre-production. The app is in beta phase. Uh, the cameras, uh, I'm using a version that is 
pre pre release uh so there may be some hiccups in it and i am kind of in contact with acaso a little bit to kind of tell them what i think is not working and what's working etc cetera, etc cetera. um so here here is um a few things number one um you have to register the camera with the app uh you can skip it but it will only allow you to skip it three times. Uh, I don't know what happens if you skip it a third time, then I don't know what happens on the fourth attempt. I have no idea. Uh, I actually had to reach out to Acaso to get them to send me a developer version of the new updated software so that I could actually see the Brave 8 on it and walk my myself through it, function fine. Uh, there are a few features, which is why I wasn't I'm not going to show you the app as of yet uh, because of the fact that there's a few features that weren't working. It is what it is. I will, again, from now till when you guys see this video, be in contact with Acaso to make sure that they're aware of those little issues that I'm finding. Um, but software-wise, really the biggest update that I saw was that it has uh, support for the Acaso Brave 8 now. So... If you used it before, it's it's very similar. Um, audio. Thank you. That was untouched. Uh, that's fantastic. And it actually did much better outdoors than I even thought it was going to do. Because except for when the wind was howling on it, it was picking up really well. Now, the only issue I have is that anytime I either switched hands, because I was holding a, like a tripod up like tight to it, not completely here but fairly tight and anytime I touch the camera for whatever reason to move it from this hand to this hand or to touch the uh, the display button so that it, the screen would wake up you you hear it it is like cranked up to 10 for sure for for audio so it is hearing any kind of interaction with the camera that you're making be aware of that so that if you are doing audio stuff you know that the moment you go to touch the camera, that audio is going to be no good. Is that going to be changed in a future firmware update? I don't know. But as of now, that's that's a bit of an issue. Yes. Um, stabilization, decent. You know, uh, here's just some quick footage without stabilization because I shot it twice. Once that I thought the stabilizer was on and it wasn't. And then the one you just saw. So here's with no stabilizer. It definitely is wider. For sure. So if you are just like mounting this on a tripod or something where it's going to be stationary, don't 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 turn the, the stabilizer on because you're cropping and it's pretty substantial, and it's better to get that wide shot. You know, yeah, just it is what it is. Uh, so so far, so far I'm pleased. It's it's for anybody who had the seven or was like on the fence with the seven, I without question so far the eight is substantially better right build quality about the same uh stabilization i would say is the same maybe even better and audio is night and day difference like night and day difference from the seven to the eight now as i said before in the other in the the walking video um, i'm going to be doing a couple follow-up videos one is we're going to take this on a uh motorcycle ride just to see what the uh external mic is like plus that field of view and what it, what it's like just riding because maybe this is going to be a great alternative for those that want to get into motor vlogging a little more on a budget and then we'll do a follow-up video with your questions so leave them down there in the comments uh that's that's that should be fun or painful one of the two all right guys castle brave eight fast that came out fast what do you guys think what are your thoughts so far, versus the seven, or the six, or whatever. Big, big, big upgrade? I think so. I think so. All right, guys. Uh, I, I'm excited to see your comments. Leave them down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, notification bell, do all the stuff, right? And uh, we'll put links up to the eight as soon as I get them down there for you guys. All right, my friends. I'm out. Later.